Welcome to Easel. This overview will help you get started designing your projects. When you log in, you can select a previous project or start a new project. Toggle the view for a better look at your projects or sort to see your starred projects. You can also see more information about your account from this panel. Let's start a new project. There are two panes, the design pane on the left and the 3D preview pane on the right. Move around inside the design pane by simply moving your mouse. You can zoom in and out using the buttons in the lower right corner of the pane. Anything you design in the design pane will render on the 3D preview pane on the right. Use your laptop trackpad or mouse scroll button to zoom inside the preview pane. Rotate your view by clicking and holding your mouse, then moving around inside the pane. You can pan the preview pane by holding shift while you click, hold, and move your mouse. There are four basic shapes you can add into your project. You can also draw shapes using the pen tool. Any shape can be edited by double clicking on it. You can move points by clicking and dragging a point around. Points can be straight or curved. Click and drag the handles on curved points to adjust them. Click off a shape to exit the editor mode. When a shape is selected, hit delete on your keyboard to remove it. Objects can be made bigger or smaller by clicking and dragging on the bounding box handles. Corner handles will change the object to scale. Side handles will change the shape in only one direction. You can also add text to your project. Easel comes with 15 standard fonts, but an Easel Pro membership gives you access to carve more than 200 fonts. Double click inside a text box to edit the text. Click, hold, and drag to select multiple items inside the design pane. You can move them as one unit, or align the items relative to each other. When designing a 3D carving project, there are two important considerations. First, you should determine if you want the shape to be an outline or a fill. The 3D preview pane makes it easy to envision your final project when choosing between these two options. The second carving consideration is cut depth. You can change the cut depth for your project using the cut slider. Deeper carves generally require more time, so it's important to keep cut depth in mind when designing your projects. Setting an object to a cut depth of zero tells Easel that this shape should not be carved. We call this masking. Right-clicking on an object brings up a shortcut menu for performing different actions. You'll find more helpful shortcuts and options in the edit menu. Easel has a searchable icon library so you can quickly add different shapes. The app library houses special tools that eliminate the guesswork or complicated steps for certain tasks, like making an inlay or offsetting a series of shapes. You can also import SVG vector files, 3D G-code files, and images from your computer or the internet. We suggest watching Easel Live classes in the project section of our website for more information on how to use apps or import files. Easel Live also provides tips, tricks, and shortcuts for using Easel. You can also visit our support center for a wide array of visual tutorials. You'll find links to these pages in the description below. There are other considerations for carving a project, but these steps will help you get started designing an Easel. For more information about our products, please visit us at inventables.com. Happy designing!